Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy and this is a snooze review. This is the second add-on and 23rd overall review of series number 11 North American market snooze. So we will be taking a look at the new or one of the two new newer Thunder products and it is the wintergreen strong so let's take a look at the packaging right off right off the bat it has a catch lid for used portions all right the entire package thing is plastic all right you have that catch lid lid on the lid it's all pretty straightforward on these new products, I didn't notice it when I did the mint the other week, but I, I, I've noticed it since. Uh, they do not have the filled-in circles. Now, I guess it occurred to them that with the exception of the one product, the other four were all strong, so all the circles were always filled in. The product that was not strong, the original regular strength, only two or three of the five circles were filled in but they've done away with it they used to be up in right above the x so the background color is a very dark navy blue you got the green winter green snooze strong is denoted thunder extreme and warning label going around to the side you basically have branding on the band the band is very rubbery it does have flavor there and the fact that there are 20 portions in the can and then you have the warning label on the back is where the majority of the actual like manufacturers information and whatnot is so you have that it's thunder extreme up top then it's wintergreen strong then underneath that it is 20 portions to this can there's 20 Sachets, pouches, dippers would call them pouches. They call them portions. All right. Sale only allowed in the United States. It is 100% premium imported tobacco. Now, that is not really a big deal because this is being manufactured in Sweden and imported into the country. So the fact that it's... In fact, I don't even know how they could really say that it's 100% premium imported tobacco, considering the point of origin for the container and the whole product itself is imported. So if they're using some sort of European tobacco, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they're, I mean, who knows? You get what I'm saying now. Uh, then underneath that, they have the weight of the can. The weight of the can is 0.7 net weight ounces. That is 0.1 less than a Copenhagen or Grizzly pouched product. Manufactured in Sweden and distributed by Swedish Match North America LLC, headquartered in Richmond, Virginia. And then there is a consumer call line. Underneath that you have the barcode and then over here is the best if used by which is January 26 2020 and then you have an ingredients list which I have gone over the number one ingredient is water the number two ingredient is tobacco and then there's a number of other things and you know what I've always thought about this during reviews but I never actually mentioned it when they do the ingredients lists on this there's nothing that I see that would tell me they're listing what the pouch is made out of. Well, well, the pouch isn't being consumed. Well, neither is the tobacco. So if it's in the can, shouldn't it have an ingredient? Just saying. So I'm going to cut into this if my thumbnail will cooperate. And my thumbnail is cooperating. For once thank you thumbnail bands are very rubbery now because of the catch lid the can is sort of like in two halves and it is open 
And that is a pretty, very dip-like wintergreen smell. It, it, it smells like wintergreen dip. Uh, the wintergreen is very forward in it. Not picking up too much tobacco underneath it. I'm definitely not picking up any tobacco that I would that would register with me as snooze. The pouches are moist. Now keep in mind these pouches are not like grizzly pouch. Grizzly pouches to begin with, before tobacco is even in them, are brown. These are like Copenhagen pouches. The pouch material is white and there is staining from the tobacco once it's in there. So they're a lot lighter in color. And they are not in like the spiral setup like general. They are just all tossed in there. That said, the pouches are larger than a general portion. They are pretty good size. And I actually have... Pretty stiff in there, though. I'll tell you that much. They are they are moist, which is good. Um, I actually have an American Snuff pouch for... Now, they are smaller than a dip pouch. I mean, there's no question they are smaller, but they are larger than, let's say, a general product. They are larger than the smaller versions of the Camel products, and they are probably on the same scale as the larger pouches of Camel. I'm saying Camel because that is probably what the, the snooze snoo product that most people are familiar with. So I'm going to throw it in up top, and I'm only going to do one. And I'm going to hit the pause button because I think this is going to take a minute to get going. There's really no point us just hanging out here during that. Although I have a feeling some people would like that. But no. And I'm back. Ooh. Anyway. Okay, so I could see a market for this stuff. The, this one in particular um, and there's there's a few reasons some obvious uh, it's winter green okay I can see this being popular or if they tried it being popular with people that dip all right winter green being the flavor is the obvious point uh, but there's a couple of things that go along with it that are absent in let's say the general, winter green the general winter green is a smaller pouch this one is larger now I do have it up top it is right there it is completely unnoticeable the general though is it's good I actually like it um, in fact I have a can around here somewhere right now unfortunately I didn't bring it into this room with me or I'd show you a pouch comparison between the two uh, it is a smaller pouch and it is a lighter top flavoring of winter green over what is obviously snooze tobacco okay this it doesn't taste like snooze the winter green is more prominent all right but there is no snooze tobacco flavor underneath it's a stronger winter green and with the lack of it being able to tell that it's snooze underneath that that winter green it, it could be dip if that makes any sense to you so the pouches are larger but they're still discreet the winter green is to the front and there's a burn so guys that like the winter green burn or you know what whatever you want to call that it's there I have this thing all the way over to the side because it was too much up front for me. Um, and there is no no flavor of what I register as snooze, like Swedish snooze, all right? In the general product, the wintergreen's there, but it's sort of just masking lightly over 
what is obviously snus tobacco. This, not so much. Now, I'm not saying it's not snus, and I'm not saying it's, it, it, it's like dip tobacco, dark fire underneath. It's not that either. But it's sort of, the winter green is sort of all-encompassing of flavor. So, in that way, I think that would play well with people that dip, and, and people that dip winter green. Uh, you have a mouthfeel, okay? You have a slightly larger pouch, but it's discreet enough this would be perfect in a non-spitting indoor work situation. And and that's that's why I think there is a market for this. It's not giving me any discomfort in the throat. And I'm I I, I was squeezing it during the break and like swallowing just to see because the original three that came out especially the red strong, the berry one, were very uncomfortable in the throat, which made me wonder if I should even be swallowing this stuff. This, I'm, I'm not picking up anything. And the mint before this that I did a week, week and a half ago, it, it was sort of the same way. After that review, I waited with it for quite a while and nothing really materialized discomfort in the throat wise. So if... You like wintergreen, you dip wintergreen, all right, and you need something that's spit free. This might be your guy. Now the nicotine is definitely there. The nicotine is there, and as wintergreen flavors go, now keeping in mind I'm not a wintergreen guy, so you know, it, it's not bad. I, I you know, I, I'll probably end up using this can. Um. It, it, it's it's pretty good. It, it's not really it's not really something. It's leaning sweet, I suppose, but it's not something that you put in and it, you're like, oh, this is really sweet. It's not like a camel product. Let me put it that way. It, in that way, it's sort of more in line with an actual traditional snooze product. It's not overly candy sweet. Okay, but the wintergreen is definitely there. It is to the front. Nicotine is definitely there. It's discreet, but the pouch is larger. Now, I guess. I'm not going to do it myself, but, or maybe I will at some point, but not during this review. I guess you could double up a couple pouches of this and it would maybe actually feel like a lip, but the, the, the discrete factor would be sort of taken off the table if you did that. So all in all, if you are somebody that dips winter green and likes it and likes a burn and also work in a cubicle and are in situations where you can't really spit where you really shouldn't this might be your guy this would play better with somebody that dips like let's say grizzly wintergreen it, it don't don't get it twisted it's not grizzly wintergreen okay but if you're in a situation where grizzly wintergreen is not an option this might be a a, a good fallback uh probably more so than the general i believe there is a bit more nicotine okay and the winter green is more prominent and there is more of a burn so in in those ways this i would think would be the better replacement for somebody that wasn't able to dip their grizzly or copenhagen copenhagen winter green is sweeter than this so for guys that dip the coke winter green, keep that in mind. Uh, this is not that sweet, but it, it, it leans that way. So that is the review. I mean, it's nice packaging and all. As I said in the past, you know, not having a metal loop, that's, that's standard with snooze. There, there's really, I don't know if there's any snooze. There may be a couple loose products that aren't pouched that still have metal but i basically industry-wide snus is in plastic in europe in sweden and denmark to an extent i guess um so like not having a metal lid that's not a big deal i don't I, they wouldn't be able to do the catch lid if not and th these do come sometimes in I, I was out at a restaurant a couple weeks ago and I had a, a general can on me. These catch lids do come in handy to get rid of a portion. And it will fit. I mean, it's not terribly deep. But, I mean, 
it, it's pouch depth of the pouch at least and there's enough room you know there's probably enough room there five or six of them all right so the the packaging looks good um the product is quality it doesn't quite have the aesthetics inside the can as a general product but it, it's quality i don't think from a standpoint of somebody that does and is very into snooze you would probably want to go with the general product that that would be more in your line this 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 though does have a place just for the aspect of people that dip wintergreen that are in situations where they can't all right so packaging is nice nicotine's there flavor's good there's a little bit of a mouth feel and there's 20 in a can nicotine strength wise you probably only need to use one at a time now if you want the feel of a dip for some reason you, you you probably have to go two at least but nicotine strength wise you probably only need one so this has been the review of thunder extreme wintergreen snooze strong i am the suit and tie dip and shoe guy i do hope you all are well do check out my line channels on the homepage. Those are people that I have dealings with here on YouTube. And there will be a link in the description to a PayPal account for small, repeat, small donations. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.